KGLA Productions and today I am bringing you a review of the OG uh, Brawly by Figure Arts. So I'm going to move the, the figure to the side for now. I'm going to show the, what the box looks like in the front. So that's what it looks like in the front. That's what it looks like on the sides. Both sides. Brawly there. This is a different poses you could figure put the figure in. And this is what it looks like at the bottom. So I'm gonna put the box aside and I'm gonna focus on the figure itself. So the figure's been really been out there for a while and I've been doing I've been meaning to do a review, but I just never got a chance to do it. But you know, since I'm gonna since I already have the, the newer uh, SH figure arts uh full power brawly, I wanna do a review of this figure first and then afterwards probably do a comparison with this with this figure. So that's what it looks like in the front. This is what it looks like in the back. And as you can see, this figure has a lot of shading compared to many of the of the newer SH figure arts that you know do not have that shading anymore. They notice. And also you do have to be careful when handling this figure because it's prone to chipping and paint rubbing as I'm going to be showing later on in the video. So what does this figure come with? Well, it comes with various accessories. Hopefully Bradley probably is able to stand on by himself. It comes with four interchangeable hands in total. It comes with grabby hands as you can see here. It comes with these hands as well so you can see it open blast hands and it also comes with two interchangeable heads one is the yelling head that you can see here the other one is the smirking head that you can see here and unlike the full power the full power brawly that just came out this figure actually has um, uh, effects three of them in total and they're they're actually nicely colored and shaded and also it does come with a stand so you could place it in there but I've been trying to find it but I just not, I don't remember where I left it and it also comes with a hole so you could place it in that stand so and in terms of articulation I think we should start off with the head first let me remove this and this part, this this figure in the head actually has is the double ball pick with a hinge at the top, so you could actually lift up the head if I'm careful and not, you know, don't break it. So you could lift up the head and get it into different in, into different poses, which is something unique for this figure. So let me put the faces face plate back, the bangs too again nicely colored though so mm -mm. okay so you can move the head this much this much down this much up with a double ball, ball pick but it does look weird in certain angles so you kind of have to be careful in terms of arms you're able to lift up the arm this much up which is a lot this much up on the other side so you can see it bicep swivel Double jointed elbows, eh, just 90 degrees. Since it's very bulky, you're not able to go as much because of this part right here, obviously. And then the wrists, the wrists are kind of tight, so you will put it this much back and this much forward. It's pretty stand or pretty basic for this for the for the wrist. But actually, they want to show you something. You kind of have to be really careful because it does tend to chip. You can see it there. And some of my other hands have also been um, paint rubbed as well. So when posting this figure, you have to be careful. Um, but if you use alcohol, you can actually remove the paint for all of them. And I've actually done it before um, when I, you know, when I barely had the figure. Um, but it does take time and you know you're able to do it that way too if you want to remove the the, the paint scuffing on it or the paint rub actually and in terms of uh, torso the torso is actually able to go this much down 
this much back and to the side and you're actually able to move it to the side and to the side as well which is really good and if you're if you want to make your brolly a little bit more you want to make your brolly taller you're actually able to lift it up it does come with that feature so it can make it even more imposing but you know it does leave a slight gap there and also in the back too so that's just a heads up and in terms of leg articulation let's move the skirt piece a little bit up here it does have some hinges there so you could you know so it doesn't hinder um the articulation it only has hinder on the three four three parts of the four parts of the skirt except for the back you actually cannot lift that part up the leg is able to go this much up does have some swivel there for the leg double jointed uh, knees with shading as well and the shading does follow it all throughout as you can see it see here and then it also does have some ankle pivot as well so slight ankle pivot so you can get broadly into like certain crazy poses some people were saying that they had uh, trouble um, standing this figure up. Uh, well, as you can see, uh, this figure could stand up. Technically, it doesn't need to stand. But, you know, that's just me. Probably they were having troubles with it, but I'm not having trouble with my, with my figure, though. It's all good. So, finally, we move on to the last part of the video, which is the comparison. Uh, let me have a few figures. I think I have a few figures here for comparison. So let's compare it next to the SH figure arts uh, Gohan, which is going to be one of my other reviews if I have not done it yet. And this is going to be compared next to Goku Black. Really an really imposing figure. If I if I say so myself. And finally we're gonna be comparing it to a Storm Collectibles uh, Ryu for those that collect Storm Collectibles. That's what Ryu looks like. Right here. Oh, let me get into a decent pose so so this is actually one of the older Storm Collectibles. So that's good, but let's see how it compares. So yeah, they look really good. So what are my final thoughts about this figure? Well, initially when it came out from figure when it was first released, it was one of the considered one of the best, but looking at it now, well, you know certain certain anatomy anatomy parts don't look natural especially that part at, in the back this part right here it's uh, really weird it looks weird but you know i'm actually gonna do a comparison video of this figure and the full power full power brawly that just came out so stay tuned and thank you again for watching my channel and sorry that I've been out. I've been actually taking a break from uh, doing videos, but you know, I'm going to start doing videos again, at least uh, two times a week. And again, I thank you for your support. Don't forget to subscribe and like, and you know, and I hope you have a good, um, a good day. Thank you.